Hello everyone, welcome to part 97 of Laravel 9 series in which we are getting the multi-vendor e-commerce website. So uh, we are going to work on the add to cart functionality and uh, I want to tell you that uh, uh, see this is the detail page that we have done so far and now we are going to work on the add to cart functionality. We are waiting for this for from a long time and now see uh, once the user uh, use the add to cart functionality he will first add uh, this site he will first select this site after that he will add the quantity what he want okay so after that he is going to click on add to cart so that the product will get added to his shopping cart or shopping bag we can call okay so we are going to work on we will start working on this one and i think we are going to complete it in two three videos okay so let's start and uh, first thing is we are going to make the cards table okay cards table in which we are going to store uh, the these products that the user is going to add in his shopping cart okay so for that we are going to add the cards table with the help of migration okay we can also add from the php admin simply adding uh, here uh, going into the database and add the cards table here okay specify the number of column we can simply add it okay but we are going to add from the migration command that will not take much time either okay so now uh, i'm going to run that our project the rest of dogs project is already running i will do one more command here ecom9 services new terminal folder i'm going to create the migration file php artisan uh, make migration and I'm going to make this create cards table. I'm going to make the cards table so I will uh, use it like this create cards card table. Okay. So here <coughs> create cards table like this. Okay. So now uh, here we are going to add the columns. table the columns that we want in the cars table first column is the session id and the second column is the user id see for session id we are going to take the string we are going to take the where care but for the user id we are going to take the integer only okay so for the uh, one more we are going to add that is the product id and size and quality also we are going to add here Side as well as the quantity uh, for size we are going to take the string and for quantity in here is fine okay so make sure that the columns are correct id string that is session id in here that is user id then in here again for the product id and then string for size and then in here once again for the quantity and then timestamps it seems to be fine okay so now we are going to run here php uh, we are going to run here php artisan migrate okay this command we are going to run so to create the table table has been created we are going to see the table now cards okay so it is coming fine okay you can see the cars table is coming fine here okay session id user id product id size quantity credit ad, ad, ad. okay all the columns are coming here so one more thing we are going to create the card model as well php artisan make model for this cars table we're going to create this model as well that we are going to use a lot in the upcoming videos okay so car table uh, card model has been created now okay so now uh we are going to create the form in our detail page so that uh, we can click on add to cart and uh, that uh, uh, that entry will get saved in the cards table okay we are going to save it in the cards table after clicking on the add to cart so we are going to check uh, the detail bread file we are going to check the earlier form first uh, is there any form exist in our design yeah the form exists uh, where it exists here it 
uh, but uh, we want to we don't want to start here we want to start uh, somewhere uh, before this because here we need to take this available site okay input uh, that uh, site uh, input uh, and also quantity size quantity and auto cart so the form will start somewhere here this uh, part okay so what i am going to do here i am going to remove this form so that i can add my new form i am going to copy this one so that we are going to use i am going to remove it from here this is not the right place to add the form okay and i am going to make it correct and now i am going to uh, start from uh, before this available site uh, even i can start before this black color okay so i can start from here okay i will start the form from here and i will end the form here this is the perfect place i think so we can check once that there is no issue i'm going to refresh it and see the design will not destroy it okay so it is fine you can see the page seems to be fine sometimes when we move form uh, page get disturbed but in this case it is uh, fine uh, we can also check other things that it is everything seems to be perfect okay so now uh, we can move further with the form we can uh, see action form action we are going to uh, create the action like we are going to create the URL okay we are going to create the URL like add to card uh, that we are going to create later on okay but we are going to create this URL and uh, other than this uh, at uh, CSRF token is required here okay so uh, see we can remove this one now it is not required at all okay we are not showing the drop downs for colors we have the group uh, product functionality now okay so now uh, see uh, after this available size is so one input field also we require I'm going to check here so here uh, we require the product id okay so this input field we're going to add here hidden and here uh, so that we can pass the product id as well product id we have the product id here in the product details array product details here we are having the id of the product okay like this okay so uh, see here side we are already having this side okay whatever the user select okay and make sure uh, we can give it mandatory this is mandatory okay after that uh, uh, see the share script we are going to do later on so uh, we can uh, remove this uh, share script we can disable this share, share script for right now because uh, this one we will add later on so what i can do i can just comment this share script later on we are going to add some good share script after at the end of the project we can add okay like this this share script we have done earlier as well in the laravel 8 series if someone is hurry to check that they can check in the laravel 8 we are we may going to do these similar things see this one is also we have done earlier uh, but there are many things new and many things old as well okay that we will not update but there are many things new as well that we are going to do in the upcoming videos okay so now uh, input type number uh, for this one name quantity that is fine and type submit add to car it seems to be fine now uh, we are going to create the route in our uh, like okay so route add to car route like uh, we have done here add to car so we are going to create this route after confirm vendor account here we are going to create this route okay so add to car route and here we are going to add route post route we are going to add here add to card okay so press controller in press controller we are going to 
add this add to cart uh, function okay so best way to add it like this but, uh, okay naming convention function name must look like this okay uh, so uh, here also uh, we can do uh, the different thing here like we can do like this card then add okay we can do it like this also card then add card remove card uh, then all the entries will come like this okay uh, because as far as the naming convention is concerned uh this is the best uh, this is the better approach like we have done here as well vendor register vendor confirm vendor login register uh okay and get product price that is fine uh, fine in some cases but uh so let us do like this card add okay uh, card add, add to card card add okay so we can do it like this as far as the naming conventions are concerned it is better route now press controller add to card here also we are going to add card add okay it looks better add card add okay so card add card remove card update we are going to use such kind of terms now okay and that looks better than before so now uh, card add function uh, we are going to add now in the first controller at the front listing detail okay after all these get product price now we are going to add this function that is the public function card add okay now here request though add add to card looks meaningful like add to card it uh, simply suggests us that we are going to add the product in uh, card and here card add uh, does not look that user friendly because uh, uh, it shows like card add what card add okay uh, but as far as the naming conventions are concerned uh, as far as the standards are concerned uh, so we must use this one okay so uh, so there are two things here one is the user friendly and one is the naming convention standards of laravel okay user friendly is also like uh, we can create the table from the php my admin then uh, we never learn the new things okay so sometimes uh, we need to follow the standards uh, okay uh, for the mm, better uh, for, for the better future okay for the better uh, work for the better code so uh, now uh, public function card add and in this uh, we are going to uh, take this uh, uh, uh this as this is the post method we are going to get the data from request is method okay so, so here dollar request is method post okay dollar data okay so dollar request all Now we are going to check the data is coming here or not. Let's see data is coming here or not. So I'm going to refresh this one. I'm going to click on this one add to card first of all. See it is asking to select this size. So we are going to select this small size here okay so now uh, see i've selected this small size now i'm going to click on add to card once again uh, see some issue is coming here get method is not supported for this route supported method is post so we are going to check uh, where is the issue exactly why it is not coming here card add is uh, okay Okay, so I think we left something we left here the method post so that's why it is picking as the guest method because we have not specify here the method as post okay so don't do this mistake at your end 
and we need to go back we need to refresh this detail page once again and now we need to try uh, if we click on add to cart it will ask us we will select the small side add to cart once click again now it is coming fine product id 5 size small quantity 1 you can see product id is 5 and size is small and quantity is 1 everything seems to be fine okay so now we will try for the medium with quantity 2 and now we are going to use the add to cart product id 5 size is medium quantity is 2 so it's perfect okay we can go to other product other other color okay so now for the red color also we are going to select the large this time large with quantity 3 add to cart so you can see the product id is 2 this time size is large this time and quantity is 3 so it is working fine up till here okay so we will continue in the next video we are going to submit this entry uh, in the cards uh, uh, table and then we are going to show we are going to work on this cards table cards page okay shopping card page very soon okay so please stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye